Hey, in Blender version 4, the developers are changing one of the most used features, which in the future will give us more realistic renders right out of the box. The change is happening in the color management tab. A new viewport transform option called AGX will replace the current filmic transform as the standard option. Here you can see some examples of the new AGX view transform versus the filmic. At a first glance, you can see that the images look more realistic and lifelike, while they also seem to have a better color reproduction. But why exactly is that and how does it work? Well, to understand this, we first have to look at what our viewport transform actually is and why we even need one in the first place. So, when rendering a scene in any 3D engine, there are a lot of data points which are calculated. One of the most relevant things for us is of course how bright areas are based on the lights, the objects and their materials in our scene. But working with light can be a little bit tricky sometimes. You see, in the real world we have two phenomena of how light really works. If you have two exact lights and shine them on the same spot and measure the brightness, the area will be technically twice as bright. This is what we call a linear behavior. But the way we humans perceive light is a little bit different. We need in fact four times as much light so that we perceive the same area as twice as bright. This is due to a logarithmic response of our eyes. With that information in mind, when we now press the render button in Blender, there are basically three steps happening. First, the computer will shoot a lot of rays into your scene and calculate the brightness and reflections of the objects. These calculated values are then stored in a linear space. So, where no light is reflected, the brightness value will be zero and all the other values will be added up together with basically no upper limit. Second, a process called tone mapping comes into play. This process is responsible for mapping the previously calculated brightness values to a more limited dynamic range, which is suitable for our displays. This includes compressing the range of values while preserving the details in both the shadows and the highlights of our images. Third, this compressed range of values will then be transformed from a linear color space into something our monitors and eyes can understand. So a gamma curve correction is applied to transform the linear light values into something like the sRGB color space. The view transform options in Blender, like Filmic or AGX, are now basically what's happening in step 2. They are responsible for interpreting the big range of values, which include colors, brightness and other information, which were created while rendering. Now that we know what the view transform options do, why is there a filmic option and why is it replaced? The filmic view transform originally replaced the standard view option, which gave very poor results due to its low dynamic range and the way it handled colors. The filmic transform improved in a lot of areas and gave out of the box better results, with much more dynamic range and better color handling, among many other things. But the filmic view transform is also not perfect and over the time it has shown some limitations. So, to fix these problems, a new option called AGX was created by some very intelligent people and then proposed to bring it as the standard option in Blender 4, which is now happening. It improves on multiple different aspects and to be honest with you, even I don't fully understand all the changes and the new features. If you are interested in all the details, I will leave a link in the video description to the proposal of AGX. But one of the biggest changes is probably how the new transform handles the collapse of colors. What are collapse and colors? Well, let me demonstrate this effect with a lamp in the real world. Now, when we take my desk lamp here and put it closer to the table, we can observe that the area under the light is getting brighter. If the light is now almost touching the table, we can see that the center is nearly white and we can barely see any of the warm color produced before. This is collapsing colors. It basically describes how bright a color has to get until our eyes think of it as white. And now, let's see some similar examples in Blender and how Filmic and AGX are handling these scenes. Here we have a light that has similar properties to my real lamp. If we move the light now closer to the surface, we can definitely see that both bright spots turn white eventually. But if we look closely, we can see that the filmic still has a little bit more color tint in its white spot than AGX does. The difference here is maybe not as big as I might have made it out to be, but the real magic of AGX shines when we look at different colored lights. In this next example, we have three different lights at 10 watts. If we look at the difference between filming and AGX here, we can definitely see that AGX has a more realistic way of collapsing the colors. Filmic kind of seems to make the colors just brighter without really changing the values. So we have more prominent reds, greens and blues, which is a very unrealistic behavior. 
When you now go back to your old scenes, you might have to adjust some parameters of your lights to get the best effect. But the results we already see are really promising. So, as you can see, color and rendering are really complex topics, and we were just looking at the tip of the iceberg here. The changes with the AGX color transform might seem minor on the surface, but depending on your use case, they can have a really big impact on your final images. If you want to see more videos on new Blender features and Blender tutorials, please consider subscribing and be sure to leave a comment if you want to see a deep dive on color or rendering in general, or any other 3D topics that you might be interested in. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.